Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am taking the last topic for renal pathology that is uh, renal cell carcinoma. Uh, the kidney tumors can be both benign and malignant. The benign ones are renal papillary adenoma, angiomyolipoma. Now angiomyolipoma, uh, the important point is that it is associated with an autosomal dominant disorder that is tuberous sclerosis. Another one is oncocytoma. Among the malignant tumors, there are clear cell, renal cell carcinoma, Wilms tumor, chromophobe cell carcinoma. And amongst these, the most common is the renal cell carcinoma. And in that too, clear cell RCC is the most common. In the children, most common tumor of the kidney is Wilms tumor. So for the undergraduates, RCC and Wilms tumor is important for the exams. So coming to RCC, RCC is also known as hypernephroma or Gravitz tumor or adenocarcinoma kidney. It is seen in the elderly age group in 6 to 7 decade. It is uh, more common in males than females. The risk factors are important. Most important are the tobacco and cigarette smoking. And then also obesity, hypertension, unopposed estrogen therapy, chronic kidney disease, cystic disease of the kidney especially which is seen in the patient going undergoing dialysis and uh, exposure to asbestos, petroleum products, heavy metals. So the kidney tumors, the RCC, it is mostly sporadic and only 4% of the RCC, they are familiar and they are associated with various genetic factors and genetic diseases. So amongst uh, those 4% familial forms, uh, there are various syndromes they are associated and again these two syndromes they are important for the uh, PG entrance exam. So first is the von Hippel Lindau syndrome. It is associated with uh, deletions in chromosome number 3 which is harboring the BHL gene. It is autosomal dominant disorder. So this is associated with renal cyst bilateral renal cell carcinoma. So VHL gene it is which is present in chromosome number 3P it is associated when, when it is deleted it is associated with increased activity of hypoxia inducible factor. Normally this gene suppresses this factor and when, when it is deleted it will cause increased activity of uh, the hypoxia inducible factor. Now when it is uh, active it will further cause the activation of various growth factors like vascular endothelial growth factor which causes angiogenesis and also other uh, factors like insulin growth factor. So all this will cause proliferation and uh, vascular proliferation in a renal cell carcinoma. And VHL is important for the exams. So there's a mnemonic I got from the internet for the uh, for the co components of von Hippel Lindau syndrome. So the mnemonic is CAR PEEP, C for cerebral hemangioma, then retinal angioblastoma, R for renal cell carcinoma, then pheochromocytoma, epididymal nodule and tumor, endolymphatic sac tumor, and pancreatic endocrine tumor and pancreatic cyst. So this syndrome is important from the exam point of view, especially for the need PG. Then uh, the next familial syndrome is hydratory leomyomatosis and renal cell cancer syndrome. So it is also more dominant and there is fumarate hydratase gene which is mutated and uh, it consists of cutaneous leomyomas, uterine leomyomas and associated papillary renal cell carcinoma. So it uh, this one is uh, papillary renal cell carcinoma associated. Another one which is associated with papillary carcinoma is hereditary papillary carcinoma. It is again autosomal dominant and it is associated with the uh, mutations, activation mutations in the MET proto-oncogene and it will show multiple bilateral papillary carcinomas in the kidney. Next is the Bart Hogg Dupe syndrome. Again, it is autosomal dominant and it's associated with mutations in the Bart Hogg Dupe gene. And 
it will show uh, skin tumors then pulmonary cyst and kidney tumors so this is associated with various uh, kidney tumors of uh, various histologies and most common is the homophobe cell carcinoma now based on the histology and the cytogenetics the different classes of renal cell carcinoma are clear cell carcinoma which is the most common type then papillary carcinoma chromophobe cell carcinoma xp11 translocation rcc then collecting duct or bellini duct car now this image is taken from the robins and it shows the various genetic factors which are involved in the renal cell carcinoma so in the clear cell variety the majority cases they are sporadic and they are associated with deletions in the chromosome number 3 Uh, so there is loss of VHL gene, or they can be inactivated or mutated VHL gene. Then in the hereditary clear cell also, the same genetic mutations will be seen in the form of von Hippel Lindau syndrome. In the papillary uh, variety, again the sporadic cases they are more than the hereditary cases. In the sporadic, there will be trisomy seven, seventeen, loss of Y chromosome, and on the chromosome number seven there are. Uh, mit, there is a met on proto oncogene which is mutated and activated in case of papillary RCC. In hereditary papillary RCC, only this trisomy seven is seen, and on the chromosome seven there is the met gene, met proto oncogene which will be mutated or activated, and when it is activated, it causes increased activity of the tyrosine kinase. and which will be cause which will cause the uncontrolled proliferation and papillary rcc now in rcc the clinically there is a classical triad this triad you should know to solve the problem based uh, clinical questions so there is line pain because the tumor mass is enlarging so it will stretch the capsule and the nerve endings will get stimulated will cause the pain in the line region then there will be palpable mass and hematuria which is a consistent symptom for rcc sometimes it is it remains undetected and there it is uh, diagnosed as an incidental finding on the radiology then another important point is that rcc in rcc now uh, various hormones they are secreted which will cause the peroneoplastic syndromes so which are which can be like polycythemia and it secretes erythropoietin then peroth hormone is released which will cause which can cause hypercalcemia then hypertension then there is hepatic dysfunction which is non metastatic it is known as stoffer syndrome then acth like hormone will be secreted and it can cause cushing syndrome so these are important to remember and can come uh, as clues in the uh, clinical problem based question now grossly the renal cell carcinomas they are polar they affects the poles and in that also upper pole is more common than the lower pole so they are usually they are solitary unilateral and yellow colored tumors the papillary tumors will have the surface papilla grossly and the cut surface in the rcc shows necrosis cyst and hemorrhage and very commonly the thrombus can be seen in the renal vein now we come to the different histologic variants one by one and we will cover only the important points now clear cell carcinoma it is the most common renal cell carcinoma so you should uh, remember this uh, the majority cases of renal cell carcinoma they are sporadic only 4% they are hereditary so uh, the most common malignancy of the kidney is the clear cell rcc it arises from the proximal convoluted tubules and the sporadic uh, cases they are much more than the familial cases but the 3p deletion is common in both so the deletion of the vhl gene it is common in uh, both the sporadic uh, variety and familial variety then they are solitary usually they are unilateral and in the gross they are yellow in color 
so and in the microscopy the tumor cells they are round polygonal with a centrally placed nucleus and the cytoplasm is clear so it is clear because of the presence of glycogen and lipid again this is a viva question so there is glycogen and lipid in the cytoplasm which shows a clear cell morphology on microscopy and it shows the yellow appearance on the cross for the immunohistochemistry in this tumor we do biomantin cd10 and paxate again this is important for the mcqs this is a gross image this is a kidney this is a normal contour and here the contour is distorted because of this tumor so this tumor is uh, is uh, well circumscribed seen in the upper pole of the kidney and the cut surface you can see it is yellow in color so this is how you describe it and uh, in the microscopy again these cells which are seen in the form of nest and these nest are separated by the thin fibrous septa which is containing the blood vessels and there is these tumor cells they are having the centrally placed nucleus so i will uh, just after this i will make a separate video on the histology of rcc so clear why the cytoplasm is clear it is because of the presence of glycogen and lipid and what special stains we can do for glycogen we can do pass for lipids we can do oil red o so again this is important for the mcqs and vibe next we come to papillary rcc so constitute 10 to 15% of the rccs arises from the distal convoluted tubule uh, there is no 3p dilution but there is uh, trisomy of 7 17 and loss of y and the mutations in the met proto oncogene in the sporadic and there are uh, the trisomy of 7 and mutations in met proto oncogene in the familial so the tumor will be multifocal and bilateral commonly and microscopically papillary architecture will be seen and there can be semoma bodies so there are the papillae formation and in the stock of the papillae there are foamy cells the immunohistochemistry ck7 is done for the diagnosis now next is chromophobe renal cell carcinoma the origin is from the intercalated cells of the collecting ducts and there are associations of multiple deletions leading to hypo diploidy so there is hypo diploidy is important feature for chromophobe renal cell carcinoma grossly there are 10 brown masses in the kidney and microscopically these cells they are called chromophobe because the cytoplasm is pale eosinophilic doesn't take the uh, pink stain so there is pale eosinophilic cytoplasm and the nuclear membrane the cytoplasmic membrane and nuclear membrane they are very prominent and there is perinuclear halo and the special stain which is used is the hales colloidal iron stain again this is important mcq and uh, for viva also now the rcc which is having the best prognosis is the chromophobe cell renal cell carcinoma so these are the important points that you have to remember for chromophobe rcc next a uh, few lines about bellini duct carcinoma bellini duct carcinoma they arise uh, in the collecting duct in the medulla and it is a uh, aggressive tumor having a worst prognosis so it contains the anaplastic cells with hobnail pattern and desmoplasia as is seen in bellini duct carcinoma last is the xp11 translocation rcc it uh, it is associated with rcc in the young and that rcc has got a clear cell uh, and papillary morphology and there is a uh, mutation with the tfe gene now medullary rcc medullary cell rcc it is seen in the region of medulla and it is seen in people with sickle cell trait so these were all the important histological variants of the renal cell carcinoma so mainly there are points to remember there are facts to remember in this and nothing much to understand but uh, mostly 
you have to remember these facts the familial syndromes the genetic mutations and the histologic uh, morphology and the gross morphology of these different types of rcc and lastly metastasis of <coughs> rcc it goes to lungs and it gives a cannonball appearance so these are like the round sharply demarcated well circumscribed cannon balls cannon ball like appearance in the lungs then the next site important site is bones liver and adrenal gland so these are the important sites for metastasis of <coughs> rcc and uh, this uh, rcc is angio invasive and especially invades the renal vein in the form of columns and it, this uh, spread can even progress to inferior vena cava and rarely to right atrium in case of aggressive tumors so to summarize it clear cell renal cell carcinoma is the most common subtype of malignant renal neoplasm which often involves vhl gene mutation uh, which is a tumor suppressor gene and papillary renal cell carcinoma is the second most common type of malignant renal neoplasm which may involve the pet proto oncogene now hereditary forms of renal cell carcinoma they have uh, caused the discovery of important genes like vhl then burthog duke gene in renal carcinogenesis and urothelial tumors they arise from the uh, renal pelvis and these tumors they have a poor prognosis so this was all about uh, the renal cell carcinomas and thank you very much so any questions they are most welcome in the comment section thank you